And yet another season of Portland River Hogs football has wrapped up. First things first, congratulations to Houdat Nation. They have won another Super Bowl, the 2017 Super Bowl. Goes to New Orleans down to NOLA. Houdat Nation comes out on top 20-12 over the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs, who like we all know, came out on top in the AFC Championship game by a score of 16-3 over our Portland River Hogs. And our River Hogs did improve yet another season. It, it wasn't all disappointment this season. It was a fantastic regular season and a yet another playoffs where there was improvement. Last year's playoffs, our first playoff berth, we won the wild card game against the San Diego Chargers and then lost in the divisional round to the Baltimore Ravens. We were absolutely destroyed by that Ravens team. Joe Flacco threw all over us. And then, this season, we played so well in the regular season, we clinched a first round bye, so there was no wild card round. We went straight to the divisional, and who did we play yet again in the divisional round? This time at home against the Baltimore Ravens. And we come out on top by one point. Blake Bortles drives it down the field. Chris Smith gets the game ceiling sack. We win 15 to 14. Conference championship not so lucky like we already know. 16 to 3 loss. Their defense was just overpowering all game. Could not get anything going. And the Kansas City Chiefs proved to be the superior team. They deserve to go to the Super Bowl. But they were not obviously good enough to beat the Drew Brees, who is the NFL MVP led New Orleans Saints. Now this River Hikes season had a bunch of storylines coming off a year where the team's offense was literally nothing but Bryce Brown. It was literally Bryce Brown every game, all game. If he doesn't get the job done, you're not winning the ball game. This year, it was something unexpected. Bryce Brown still had a great season, over 2,000 yards rushing. He won the AFC Offensive Player of the Year award, but, but, it was not what we expected from the quarterback play, which has been poor throughout this franchise. Blake Bortles, his redemption season, did come to an end in the AFC Championship, but he did pick up an 84.6 QBR with just under 2,000 yards, 1,940 to be exact, 12 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions ever since taking over for Lance Cummings, who, going into the season, people thought Lance Cummings was going to be the number one guy. He was going to be the quarterback of the future, and he is the quarterback of the future. It just, he was hurt his rookie year. Blake Bortles came in. Blake Bortles was playing so well, it was impossible to bench the guy. And he carried us all the way to the AFC Championship, where he just fell short to a spectacular defense. But Blake Bortles' redemption season was good while it lasted. Then, our defensive line as usual, amazing. Anthony Kendricks finished second in the Defensive Player of the Year in the AFC. He finished first in the Best Defensive Lineman category, second followed by another River Hug, Chris Smith. We all know and love him by now. And despite those great players on our teams, there is still a lot to do in the offseason. Offseason, another year comes around, you start from scratch. And the big thing with this team is we let a lot of people walk. A lot, a lot of people walked in the offseason. Senderic Marks, Keenan Allen. None of those guys are coming back. Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles wanted a lot of money. He wanted four years for $17.6 million over four years. And the Portland River Hogs management just was not interested in giving him that type of money. So Blake Bortles will be a quarterback elsewhere heading into the 2018 season. However, Manti Teo, the middle linebacker, will be back for four more years. Four years, $13.8 million. He's 27 years old, so that'll bring him into his 30s. But Manti Teo, they're confident, is going to be a great middle linebacker like he was last season. Then, Sean Smith, 31-year-old corner, will be resigned for yet another year. Ever since they picked him up on that one-year deal when he 
past through free agency. They've just been re-signing him the one year after one year after one year. And every year, he just keeps performing, keeps being a great corner, and until he starts falling off the map, they're going to keep giving these one-year contracts to him, so every year is a contract year for Sean Smith. Allen Robinson will be back. Did not have the biggest role last year, did not have the biggest role the year before that. But Allen Robinson re-signed the two years under two mil per year, so he's not even making... He's not even making a million per year. Allen Robinson, 1.86 mil over two years. He's 25 years old, so he'll be 27 by the end of that deal. Now you head into free agency, and you take a look at a new quarterback in town. However, Lance Cummings will be the starter. Mark Helfrich has already held a press conference and said that Lance Cummings will be the starting quarterback for this Portland River Hikes team in the 2018 season, but... There's our injuries in football. We saw it last year. Lance Cummings is a mobile quarterback. Injuries do happen. Hopefully they don't. But if they do, you need to be prepared. And with Blake Bortles not being back, they went out and got a cheap option to be his backup who can be serviceable. Coming off a great year with the Atlanta Falcons, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan, the former Boston College quarterback, will be the backup here in the Pacific Northwest with Portland. River Hogs management wanted to get Tavon Austin to be another speed receiver. This team likes speed receivers. We saw what Cordero Patterson did last year. He played magnificent. He was the leading receiver on the team over Vontae Brady. And Cordero Patterson made the Pro Bowl as a re kick returner. But he was also a serviceable receiver. And they like these fast guys. They tried to get Tavon Austin, but unfortunately, he did decline the contract and decided to go to Arizona and play with the Cardinals. But we did pick up a bigger receiver. He's not exactly a fast guy. He's a big receiver, big target. He could run routes. Yomi Umodu out of Stanford. He is a multiple-year man out of Stanford. One year under a million-dollar contract. So a very low-risk deal. But he could definitely play a pretty decent role on the football team this year. But for everyone's favorite part of the offseason, the NFL Draft. Who are the young guys coming into the NFL? Who are the young guys coming into the Portland River Hogs team that could make impacts right away? And this year, with offensive line holes being left open, with veterans letting walk, with defensive holes being left open, all these holes being left open, we needed to have a big draft in order to compete this year. And Coach Mark Helfrich and the management is, is very, very optimistic that these players can do the job. First round, they drafted Kevon Stevenson, strong safety to Michigan State, sitting at a 74 overall, heading into the NFL. So that's heading into preseason, before the reps, before the game prep. He's a 74 overall, so Kevon Stevenson will be the starting strong safety heading into the season. Now there is Langston Miller, last year's middle round pick out of Rutgers, who is right behind him, but they're giving the job to Stevenson to start off. Now, if he does play poorly, Langston Miller will have no problem stepping in. He's been here for a year. He knows the playbook. He should be able to step in and do the job. Second round, Nate Kelly, offensive tackle. He will most likely move to the right tackle position at a Southern Miss, 71 overall. While the third round pick, Jordan Jefferson, who is a bigger man, will be moved over to the left tackle. At a Virginia, 71 overall as well. These will be the starting left and right tackles for this year's team. Fourth round, Randy Tanner, defensive tackle out of Auburn, 68 overall. It'll be either him or someone who maybe comes out of nowhere in free agency, undrafted possibly to make his name in preseason, but as of right now, Randy Tanner is looking like the guy who will be the number two defensive tackle out of Auburn. The fifth round pick, Vobalaji Okuyemi, outside linebacker to Texas Southern, 65 overall, started off going into college as the lesser recruited Okuyemi brother. Why is that important? Because after the sixth round, when they drafted Farrell Swope, receiver to Notre Dame, 55 overall, who is a long shot to make the roster, they took a man who was more recruited going into college, but less recruited coming out of college into the NFL, Bolaji Okuyemi, the outside linebacker's brother, twin brother, Agwami Okuyemi, the middle linebacker out of Nevada. So these Okuyemi brothers will have a shot on the team this year. They will both make the team, but if they do get playing time, that will be up to them. That will be up to coach Kumar Kelfrich, the coach. But these Okuyemi brothers do have a shot to get decent playing time, if not this season, definitely in the future. 
And then after the NFL draft, they went out and signed a 73 overall undrafted running back out of Air Force, O.J. Bowles. O.J. Bowles looking to become the next big thing out of Air Force since Greg Popovich, head coach of the San Antonio Spurs of the NBA. O.J. Bowles looking to make that Air Force Academy proud and play well in the, N in the NFL. And then... With Therald Swope looking like to be a bust, Raynell Buchanan was, re was signed out of free agency after being undrafted, a lightning quick wide receiver who could play, who could play some receivers downs, but he is definitely going to be the kick returner and punt returner, no doubt. We could see him as the fourth or fifth receiver at some point, but right now the receiver at a UMass undrafted rookie will be the kick and punt returner for the Sportland River Hikes team. There was also some retirements heading into the 2018 season. Steve Smith Sr. He played the last few seasons of his career, 17 years in the NFL. Last few of them with the Baltimore Ravens. He was with those Baltimore Ravens teams that always play this tough. And he's going to be retiring heading into the NFL. While Jared Allen also, the former Kansas City Chief, the former Minnesota Viking, and ended his career with the St. Louis Rams, will also be heading to the Hall of Fame. But Wes Welker, the former Miami Dolphin, the former New England Patriot, the former Denver Bronco, and the end of his career with the Buffalo Bills. Wes Welker will not be heading to the Hall of Fame. He was snubbed. He is not a Hall of Fame quality player, according to the Hall of Fame balloters. But with that being said, that will wrap things up here for this Portland River Hogs off-season video, heading into Season 5, the 2018 season. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying... Goodbye and hog up. Been waiting all winter and the springtime too. I'm chomping at the bit for some hog food.